Hello, everybody. Guess what it's time for? Indeed it is. It's time to put the Ryzen in the PC. Which means I'm going to have to turn everything off. And I won't be able to see the chat room. <laughs> no, I will. I'm going to use the old uh, Phonington to uh, hopefully be able to see the PC. Well, see the PC. See the chat room whilst we do this. Man, today's been an action-packed day of action. Painting walls. Building PCs. Benchmarking games. What more could you do in a day? Hello, that MKK. So, uh... Let's get this uh, let's get this chat room on here so I can see what's going on. Oh, virtual reality racing, Mr. Shetland Pony himself. Hello, he's a man with a pony in a sim rig. Look at that thumbnail, guys. Max power upgrade. Did I spell it correct? I don't know. It looks nice though. That's a good thumbnail. We've got we've got a starburst in the background and orange and blue textbook. Textbook graphic design there. Right. Uh, I've got to remove the PC f from the... Uh, from the... Uh, from the alcove. Oh, so we've got we've got the chip. The Ryzen 9 3900X. They, of course, do a 3950X, but that's too expensive. It's got more cores. But this should be enough. This should, this is enough money to spend on a processor. Probably going to run exactly the same speed as the one I've got in it. Uh, and we've, of course, got the cooler. Look at that. Dark Rock Pro, guys. Be quiet. Shh. Shut your mouth. With 250 watts TDP. Put it on your forehead. Cool in the summer. Who needs air conditioning? Uh, does this have thermal paste? I should have checked that. I do have thermal paste somewhere if this doesn't. <laughs> so, uh, let's just double check that. Uh, well, no, you can't really overclock these Ryzen chips that much. No, nice instructions here. There's no real point in overclocking these days. I mean, a little bit of overclocking is okay. It's kind of done by default now, so it doesn't really... It's not like back in 2000s where if you overclock, you would get some significant gains. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> we do get a bit of the old thermal paste in there, just enough. <laughs> Cow, look how much thermal paste they give you. Literally, they're like, they're like, we don't trust you. <laughs> it's exactly the right amount of thermal paste. So you get one attempt. It's like trying to launch a Saturn V rocket. AMD, Intel. Oh, that's nice. You've got... Okay, you've got mounts for both chips. Because obviously you can use this. Jesus Christ, we've got these little clip things here. Let's not lose these. You can obviously use this cooler on uh, any chip. This is supposedly the best cooler you can buy. The, this uh, Dark Rock Pro is one, one of the best. There's like three coolers that are equally good for different reasons but this is supposedly one of the best i think it was like 40 50 quid <laughs> maybe it was more than that it's the most amount of money i've ever spent on a bloody cooler but once you've got one you've got one it should last at least a decade so i don't like personally i don't like water cooling i don't see the point in it well i do but i don't i don't care for it myself so let's take this out. Just get this ready, and then we're going to take the PC apart. <laughs> Peel off the label before you use it. Look at that. It's a piece of kit, guys. It's quite light, actually. I thought it was going to be heavier. It's uh, obviously made out of aluminum. Oh, I see. So it's got a optional second fan to put on it. Or maybe you put the fan on it after you've put it on the CPU. I'll have to check the instructions before we do that. We'll do that. Let's check the instructions before we get going. What's this? Oh, that's cool. We get a little be quiet. Screwdriver, that's nice. 
Uh, I've already updated my BIOS once. It's compatible with this processor already. I have downloaded the latest BIOS update, but I've not installed the latest, latest BIOS update. Um, it should run perfectly fine with this. It might not run optimally with the current BIOS that I've got on it, which isn't the first BIOS that came out. It is an updated BIOS. Um, but the reason I've not installed the latest, latest BIOS is because uh, some people are having some problems with it. So I'm going to uh, wait. I'm going to put the CPU in with the current BIOS that does work with it. And then, uh, then we'll update the BIOS fully. If you guys remember when I installed, when I uh, built the computer, I updated the BIOS. The job sim rig is structures of uh, people read stuff. So here we go. Nombre del componente. Be quiet. Refrigeratio dark rock blower for ventilator. 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 That's fan in in Spanish. Ah, gracias por comprar un producto to be quiet. Let's, you've got to read it like Super Mario because that's racist. But that's how the Italians talk. I, I can't help that they're racist. Placa pro stale in tale. I should probably read it in English. I don't know why I'm reading this Italian. <laughs> maybe that was maybe that was Spanish. Hang on. What's going on here? We've got instructions in everything. Be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. Be, be quiet. <laughs> be quiet in every language. Come on, where's English? Oh, Polish. Oh, that was Spanish I was reading. I didn't even get the right language. I'm an idiot. It wasn't even Italian. English, there we go. Let's see what the Italian one called is. French. Let's have a look at the French one. <laughs> Why are you talking like Luigi? Here we go, the French. Ventilator, <laughs> le ventilator, 135 mm. Ah oui, c'est très cool. Ventilade, be quiet. <laughs> French is pretty good. French is pretty good. Where's the Where's the actual Dutch? Here we go. <laughs> Luchter, Luchter. Oh yeah, oh yeah! I put my lufter in the in the ventilator. Oh, Intel Motorbordenkun. Yeah, that's, that's that wasn't Dutch. That was German. Russian. We don't have it. We don't even have Italian. We've got a Russian here. What's the Russian for for fan? Oh, I can't read that. <laughs> okay. Hang on, hang on. Let me just open the Russian instructions. This is why it takes me so long to do anything. Bloody hell. Right. And okay, we, we failed there. We didn't even read the English instructions. That was... <laughs> got distracted by all the languages, guys. Jesus Christ. Now I can only find Polish. Where's England gone? Come on. Call Luftwaffe to install it. <laughs> you have a ventilator, right? Bloody! Oh, here we go. We got pictures. This is like an IKEA manual. The following products are needed. Oh Christ! Jesus Christ! What's going? On? Okay, so the fans clip on with those metal things. My God, this is like the most convoluted cooler. Convoluted cooler. Uh, we recommend mounting outside the case. Well, that's too late for that. Oh, dear. I've made, I've made this way more harder for myself, just, just for the sake of being cool. Now I understand why people have water-cooled systems. Oh, shut up, Gasper. <laughs> Rambling's my job. I'm like a hiker on a microphone. First, remove the protective... Foil from the underside of the cooler. Okay, thermal paste. <laughs> Caution: the thermal paste is not suitable for human consumption. Ah, no! I was I was so tempted to eat it. The first thing I thought when I saw that thermal paste was, "Boy, that's probably tasty." Uh, 
Position the cooler mountain bridge centrally. Heat pipe caps. Insert the Intel mounting bridge fastening screws from above into the cooler. Jesus Christ. Oh, I see. I, I see how it works. I see how it works. It's actually not that bad. It's just a lot of instructions. Yeah, you add the fan. You add the fan after you screwed it in, so that makes sense. We recommend prepar preparatory, pre pre preparatory mounting of the cooler. Preparatory back plate. We'll probably need to make use of that. Although it's not actually that heavy. I've I've uh, had heavier coolers that were smaller. Is there actually an, uh, an AMD backplate? Oh, I see. We've got instructions for Intel and for AMD. There we go. <laughs> I was on the Intel page. Ah, oh, what a failure there, guys. Okay. That could have been embarrassing. Assembling the cooler mounter frame. Oh, so the, the AMD one doesn't seem to have a backplate. How strange. Oh, yeah, this is this might be... Uh... Well, it depends. It depends how it is on the... Uh... You're literally the second person reading this manual. Well, this isn't like a totally standard heat sink, so... Right. Order. Hello, Luxar. Welcome to the channel. Let's put that there. Welcome along, man. Oh, I'll just leave it in the middle. It's cooler mountain, not rocket sites. Yes, but it's a different cooler from other coolers. It's twice the cool. Uh. <laughs> Bitter. Um, let's... Look at that job simulator. Thanks to VR Cover for sending me this t shirt. VR Cover, VR Cover. We like covers for our VR headsets. VR Cover, VR Cover. Use my affiliate link. Right, that was that advert. That's that's that, that's that done. <laughs> right, I better turn this computer off and it's time to break it. A fully, perfectly operational, high performing computer. Now let's ruin it. Shut it down. Uh, 3900X would be massive overkill in the streaming PC. That'd be totally pointless. <laughs> it would literally be pointless. Okay, let me t turn this off. And we lose music. I use this as my work PC as well as my gaming PC, so... Right. Oh, I lost the beautiful music now. That was the, the emotions ended. Now I've got to unplug everything from the back of my computer. And when I say everything, it's far too many things to unplug. Power. Yes. <laughs> Monitor one. Yes. Monitor two. Yes. Monitor three. Yes. VR headset one. Yes. <laughs> VR headset two. Right. Ethernet cable, keyboard. Right. It's going to be a pain in the ass to plug all them back in and have everything work, but that's life. Just picture him trying to read the instructions whilst holding them upside down. Guilty. Watch that mixed reality sim racing video. Nice. Now, we, I'm using an NZ, ow, NZXT case with dust on top of it because it's so dusty in it. Bloody hell, this thing's heavy. Why is everything so heavy these days? My sim rig's heavy. I mean, I'm not complaining. Heavy stuff is normally good stuff, but everything's so heavy. Can we not go back to the days of flimsy light stuff that's rubbish? Let's not drop this on the floor. 
I was just, I was just lifting it. Whoa! I was just lifting this up, holding on to the front here, and uh, fortunately, it is actually something that's secured. I didn't check beforehand. Right, let's take that off. Nice shot of your phone. Oh yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, cables aren't the best length here. Right. Yeah, let's move this screen out of the way a bit. Everything is too short. Cables are all either too long or too short. They're never the right length. It's probably some like philosophy to that volume up a bit there move the old monitor back probably smash the TV but oh well if it happens it happens oh dear why does Game of Muscle have a PC on its back because I don't know why I do <laughs> is that where me nice glass panel on this with only two screws in it because uh, I'm lazy look at that proper proper glass panel nice will the PC boot probably not uh, let's have a look Probably should have dusted this off beforehand. Now let's get dust in the room after I've hoovered. <laughs> Bend pins when? Uh, I mean, look at the inside of this case, guys. First of all, just admire this from when we did that PC building session. I mean, look at that, guys. That is a pretty pristine... We did a pretty good job. Look at this dust. I mean, refresh the stream because I can't see where we're at here. Refresh. Ugh. Need like a better preview. There we go. That's better. That is that's a pretty good job. That's a pretty nice job there on that PC, guys. That's pretty tidy in there. Look at that, what a babe. Absolute beaut. We've got our additional uh, USB card down there. Oh, look at that. Look at that, GeForce RTX 2082. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Right, enough of that gloating about our PC hardware. Let's get the processor in. There's definitely a computer in there. Glad you noticed. Maybe there isn't, and it's all an illusion. So there's no, I mean, there's a plate on the motherboard already. So I get, maybe that's what, um, maybe the Intel ones don't have a plate on the motherboard by default. I don't know. I already have an AMD. Uh... Yeah, the, the got, I've got the three, which, I don't know which one I've got in there at the moment. I've got the slowest one in there at the moment, which is going to go on my streaming PC. Uh, you guys probably can't see anything. Great job with the cameras there. You don't need an air strap unless you're in a particularly dry environment. I don't know. I've built, like, probably upwards of 500 PCs. And maybe for 50 of them, I, I was wearing a, an Earth. And I, I don't know anyone that's broken a computer through static. I mean, if you're in a... You know if you're in an office or something where there's static issues... Also, in the UK, there's normally radiators. If you live in old buildings, you just touch them. It does the same thing. 
This is annoying. Come on. <laughs> Can't get this. Uh... Oh, there it is. It's a bit stiff. <sighs> Take the old uh, cooler out. The old chip out. Yeah, I think the first PC I built was in like uh, 94. <laughs> 94, 90, 90, no, maybe like 96 or something, 95. I mean, I took apart an Atari ST in like 90 something when I was pretty little. How does this, uh... Don't actually know how this comes out. <laughs> I just clipped it in when I got it. It does seem to me like PC coolers have gotten more and more convoluted as years have gone on and less easy to actually... I mean, easier to clip in, but... more random in terms of how they actually tie down. We have to actually check an image of how to remove this. Well, that's the back plates come off. Why has the back plate come off, but the cooler stayed on? Is it has it stuck itself to the CPU? I'm going to remove the fan to make this more visual. That's weird. Got a bit of a situation here already. Right, I'm gonna check what's going on here. Just gonna check my phone, I can't see the chat room. For some reason, this isn't coming off, it should just unscrew. I don't know why it's stuck to the processor. I see that a lot of people have a really hard time removing these, and they often snatch everything right out of the socket. I'm going to show you a really quick and easy trick, and this is using the stock thermal case, and it's been off for oh, a few here we go. Oh, I can still see the chat. Someone type something. Ah, this guy's twisting it. So that seems like the thermal paste that they use by default is like messed up in that it's, it's sticking to it. 
Never seen that before. That's weird. I'll try rotating it a bit. So we're going to rip the motherboard up here. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever unscrewed a heatsink and it's not just come off easy. It's the first time I've ever unscrewed a heatsink. Yeah. Can I? Can you guys see? See if I can get this better, better view for you guys. Yep. Hopefully that's okay. Crowbar. I do actually have a crowbar in my cupboard. Crowbar always does the trick. When in doubt, get the crowbar out. That's what my uh, that's what my grandpa always used to say to me. <laughs> okay, let's give it a rotatey spin. Worth here. Oh. my! That is actually really. How weird is that? So yeah, you just have to rotate it. Not, not once have I ever had to do that with any CPU cooler ever. How weird is that? Well, now we know. It's nice. That's the only way you know is by doing. Bloody weird. So, new chip here. Chip off the old block. You learn something every day. It was like the installing the uh, <laughs> installing Windows, fixing the BIOS when we first built this computer. I mean, what is that about? You just need to break the suction from the CPU paste. We're breaking the official feel here. Seal. Intel push pin coolers. Oh, come on. I'm just absolutely knackering this box up here. <laughs> we could have done this in a neat and tidy way. No. Nope. Let's not do it in a neat and tidy way. Let's do it in a horrible way. Let's get a smaller screwdriver. Have your tools ready. <sighs> yeah, I did. I just read the instructions, which explain to do that. This is why I read instructions now. I'm a good boy. Also, I find if I'm if I, if I'm if I'm using anything that's more expensive than I can just replace, then I tend to pay a lot of lot more attention to the instructions. Strangely, I like the boxes. <laughs> this box is like bigger than your average English house with the processor on top. Which <laughs> here at AMD, we like to fill the ocean up with cardboard boxes the size of mansions. It's cardboard though, biodegradable. What is in the bottom of it? Oh, it'll be the uh, stock cooler that no one uses that buys this processor. Well, let's have a look at the uh, cooler on this. So the the nine uh, the, the um, what is it? The nine three nine hundred X comes with a larger cooler than the. Uh, this is the cooler that comes with the lower end AMDs. It's quite a nice cooler, to be honest. I mean, it's perfectly fine. It's, it's just a bog-standard small cooler. Though, oh, even with the 
lower AMD chips, they tend to run a bit warm. So I think AMD, I mean, in many ways, I feel like AMD shouldn't bundle coolers with it because it, other than the very low end stuff, like the stuff that comes with the APU built on the processor, like other than that, pretty much everybody's going to be using their own custom cooler. Uh, and most uh, OEM builds and stuff, they might use it, but then do a, do a skew of the product for them. Like, who's going to be buying this 3900X and using this cooler? <laughs> like, no one. I don't know why you would. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, I guess it works. I mean, it's, it's there. It's, but this is probably like five, ten pounds to the cost that you're paying for for, for something that's effectively useless. But, it's, I mean, it's a nice cooler. It's got LED lights on it, I guess, which is what you need in a cooler, something producing additional heat. Oh, you've got, like, a little toggle on it for low and high. That's weird. I guess you can choose the fan speeds and stuff, but we're not using it, so... Waste of time and money. <laughs> Thanks, AMD. I mean, it is... In many ways, it is nice that if you buy an AMD chip, you know you're getting it. I'm sure maybe, maybe they'll start to do... Um, Maybe this is just their first launch of it, and then they'll do ones with and without the cooler, but, you know. Uh, yeah, um, it, the thing is, these chips can probably run at, like, 90C indefinitely and last within the warranty. They're probably fine. It's probably fine. But, you know... I'd rather put my own cooler on it because I'm insecure. <laughs> I could sell it on eBay, but then just about everyone will have got one, won't they? Because they'll have all um, got it with the processor. So let's remove the old one. Put the old one in the box here. I think I've got the old box, actually. Nope. Did I move the old box and take it upstairs on the time that I actually need it? Well done, me. Intelligence failed. Congratulations, you are a moron. <laughs> Let's put this in. Let's put it in this one. Yeah, I guess they, they, they'll have designed it to work at stock temperatures without, you know. I'm sure it's fine. They'll have obviously tested it, you know. It'll be fine. But if you've got a nice computer case, oh my god. All the uh, stuff's coming out. <laughs> Bloody hell. The uh, cooler, the default um, heat paste <laughs> from the previous one is glooping all over the place. Seems like a bit, uh, quite a lot of uh, heat paste that you get with the uh, default cooler. More than I'd intuitively put on it. Oh, now I'm getting <laughs> heat paste all over me. Let's put this in the right orientation. Let's not get heat paste on the chip here. Check there's no damaged pins or anything. Nope, looks like it's all right. There we go. There's a triangle in the top uh, left-hand corner, and there's also one on the processor in the top left-hand corner, and then it can only fall in in one position. So a lot of people are like, oh, building a computer is so hard. But it's like, really, you have to be, you really have to do something stupid to mess up the hardware. It's easy to mess up the software side of it, and that's normally the fiddly part where experience is helpful. BIOSes, updating Windows, or getting Windows to work properly, and if you have hard drive problems, but the actual sticking together of the PC is pretty, uh, pretty good. Get your heat paste apron on. Ah, oh, I've got to use uh, explosives, yeah. I mean, it was like when we built this PC. The uh, the thing that was a pain in the ass was that whole BIOS, weird BIOS keyboard issue, <laughs> which you go through like a process of elimination, and then it turns out like you, you and then it just 
then you have to Google to find the random solution, and it turns out that it's some bloody weird counterintuitive install Windows to fix the BIOS, which makes no sense to resolve the issue, but you, you wouldn't know that. Although these kind of things, once you've built like one PC of a generation, you tend to be covered. So it was like when um, when Serial ATA first came out, um, there were like weird issues with uh, hard drive drivers and like um, how you how you get the hard drive to be detected by Windows and having to install those drivers for it to actually work for you to be able to install Windows. And you would you don't know if you if you're if you're buying that as a you know first time purchase and and there's like no forum post on it because you bought it in the first like week that it's come out then, <laughs> then you gotta find that one forum post of the guy that happens to know the solution right out i'm gonna double check these instructions here for the for this uh so we've got to add the frame to this Add the AMD frame. I don't know which glue tastes the best. What's going on here? Why is the picture... Short AMD mounting brackets. I guess that's those. So we right you rise it off the motherboard. Oh, okay. Yeah, this this motherboard doesn't have plastic retainers on it. That's why I'm that's why I'm confused. Remove the plastic retainers off the AMD retention model, which we don't have. The factory fitted back plate affixed to the rear side of the motherboard will be needed for the subsequent installation of the caller. We've already got that. Mount the Dark Rock Pro 4. Please use the AM3 washers. Oh, an AM3 motherboard. Okay. We're good. We've got an AM4 motherboard. I think. <laughs> uh. Place the four AMD spacer nuts. Oh, I know. And we've got this adapter cable. We've got two. Why have we just got two screws here? Oh, hang on. They're in that bag. It's fine. It's kind of weird. I guess it's to get the height, so so it's got the clearance for the heat pipes and everything. But okay. I think I get it. This is going to be really annoying because this backboard is going to keep falling off. So I might be best doing this uh, with it vertical. It's not ideal, but that's how it is. It's like that, and that's the way it is. Huh. Famous man once said. And also, I've got to remember to put the actual heat compound stuff on. <laughs> He's falling off the back. No spare bits here. Going all in. Hope you guys are all alright in the chat.
get through it one way or another with only the death of the entirety of civilization as it <laughs> we get through just before the heat death of the universe so just in time really to enjoy it well this is going to be an arse maybe if I could put two of these in It's going to be a tail pain in the ass. Maybe if I can get if I can get two of these in, it will. Uh... Oh, come on. I mean, ideally, this is why you want to be doing this uh, with the case that goes inwards, not outwards. Ideally, you do this with the motherboard before you put it in the case and everything. Oh, dear. But if I put this flat, the uh, back plate falls off. I mean, I guess I could use something to sort of glue it down. <laughs> this is so annoying. Ah, oh, Christ almighty. See, let's double check. It is the outer holes as well. This is way harder than it needs to be. Yeah, it's the outer holes. Uh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, but the screw has such little clearance on this. Maybe actually, maybe these. Uh, does that poke through? Nope. There's no way for me to. And I can't reach her out. Oh, bugger me. It's just, there goes the back plate. Oh, and it's <laughs> I have a plan. I'm going to put two screws in. And then I can put the other screws in. This is a genius plan. I'm going to put two screws in here to hold this in place. Then I can take them out. Genius. This will stop it from falling out whilst I do the top one. Hopefully. Yeah, should hold it enough. Maybe, well, at least it will stop it from falling on the floor if I let go of it. Not ideal, but... It's a solution. We'll see how this goes. It's a bit of a silly design, really. I mean, they could have put some kind of, like, grommet or something on it that holds the rear shield into place so you don't have to... Because if I put this flat on my desk, it's still going to fall off because of the, the, the motherboard. It's so loose. It's not, it's not like being held in by anything. Well, let's try this now. <clears throat> See if that worked. It doesn't help. Or maybe if it was magnetised, that would have been nice. That is, is that too much to ask? Ah, uh, come on. Ah, oh, man. Come on. Is that even going in? No. Nope. <laughs> Bloody hell. This is just fiddly bollocks for no reason. Because there's so little clearance of the screw. It's ridiculous. Oh, hang on. That goes at the bottom. <laughs> 
Wrong way around there. But still, so little clearance. Let's try that again. Yeah. Ah, oh. <laughs> this is a joke. So this is why it says <laughs> in the instructions. This is why it says in the instructions, do it outside of the case. It's like, well, yeah, that's nice, but we've already built this computer. Someone at AMD was like, ha, ha, ha. Let's, let's invent a stupid way of doing it. Ha, 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 ha. I mean, I think if we did like 20 of these. Oh. You know, if you did like 20 of these, maybe you'd, you'd get to a point where you're all right at doing it. Is that even going into the hole? What is going on there? That just seems ridiculous. It's definitely, the instructions are definitely saying to do that. Got this the right way around. <laughs> Let's stick it over it. Well, actually, this isn't AMD's fault. This is the uh, this is the cooler company's fault. It should just one side of this uh, standoff thing is has a bigger hole than the other side, so it should almost hold itself in. I don't seem to be having much luck. Ah, oh, there we go. Finally got it. There we go. So now I've got now I've got one in the others. I don't know if you guys can see clearly what's going on here. Now I've got one in it's going to hold it in place. So fiddly fiddly. Send over a kill squad. What's the problem? It's just, uh, just the back plate's uh, loose. So, um, it's, it's not really a problem. It's just the design of this. So these, these, this thing, basically you have this, these screws, <laughs> this, this thing has to go onto the, uh, these screws here, and that holds the back plate, and then this acts as a standoff for the, that the heat sink goes onto. It just goes on there. But, these the clearance on these these go over these the back plate and then these screws into it but the problem is the back plate just wants to fall off there's nothing attached to it so until you've got one on it's a pain in the ass <laughs> basically but i've got one in now so we're fine and i put i put these two screws here to hold the back plate in whilst i was doing that first one it's the kind of thing where once you've got the knack of it it's fine but the very first time you do it it's a bit of a nipple clamp. Just dropped it. Again, I can totally see why they say do it outside of the case first. But not possible. Nine! That's is nine kinda possibly litten. Bitter. Now it's held in place by the other one. These these ones, uh, that's, that's easy to do. It's 
really nice uh, PC case. I was at the uh, Seattle uh, Living Computer Museum uh, the other week, and uh, what's funny is <laughs> this PC is like a, m a million times faster than some of the mainframe computers they had in there would take up half a room. It's just crazy how uh, how these things go. Ah oh, no! Don't tell me that I can't get this washer in behind here. No, we should we should be okay. That should be fine. Yeah, there we go. And it's even holding it in place. Miracle at Christmas, right there. Perfect. Once you got once you got one in, the rest just goes straight in. What's with everything on modern computers needing standoffs? The the uh, M dot two drive or well, what's it called? It's not M dot two, is it? It's uh, what's it called? Basically the same size as M.2. Maybe it is M.2. But that drive had to, had to have a standoff. It's like a bloody Western shootout now with computers. NVMe, that's it. That's, the, that's what I was looking for. That is the word. Okay, we've got to get the thermal paste on this still. But that's looking like the picture, so that's always good. Thermal paste on. <laughs> Computer's just going to explode, isn't it? Typical. From the side, you look like an Ottoman sultan. Take that as a compliment. So uh, I'm leaving this plastic on. I'm leaving this plastic on here because uh, it says, please peel off label before you use it. Warning. So I feel like I should uh, leave it on there. He says taking it off immediately. The old debate here, paste on the paste on the uh, on the CPU or paste on the uh, heat doodlobber. What pattern? What pattern, guys? I like to do a single blob in the middle, but I might. I'm gonna do like. I mean, you've got you've got the squiggle, you've got the single blob in the middle. There's always much debate over this because of the design of modern processors uh, the heat spreader on the outside of them kind of distributes the heat anyway to put a blob in the middle oh this is the kind of thing that you want to be doing flat actually and the processor so let's just do that That'll be that'll be ten times easier. Then it won't fall off. <laughs> Let's not make it hard for ourselves. Do a seven. Ah, oh, that's a good idea. I do a seven with a line at the bottom. Genius. That's the optimal. That's obviously the optimal. That's genius. Why? I don't think of these things. I don't have the intellect to come up with that. Can you guys see that? Oh, I don't know if you can.
Eh, this, this syringe is like the stiffest syringe I've ever used. Because I use a lot of syringes. Bloody hell, this is like the worst. <laughs> it's got, got stuck. Oh, this is useless. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Not only is his syringe comically small. Oh, there we go. It's coming out now. <laughs> the, the nozzle on the end of this syringe is uh, stopping this stuff coming out. Oh man, I can't even get the uh, all the goop out. Come on. <laughs> the worst <laughs> the worst syringe in the history of mankind. Pump it. <laughs> Pump it out. Yeah, so much for a seven. I'm just gonna go for the blob in the middle. The tried and tested classic blob in the middle. Oh my god. This is a terrible applicator. I've actually got some Arctic uh, stuff somewhere else. Oh well, that's enough anyway. That'll spread out. Annoyingly, I've got a bit on the edge. Let's clear that off. Right, that'll do. Probably the worst application ever. <laughs> Now you need liquid metal. Yeah, I've I've got Arcquid. What's the other one? What's the monkey one? What's the monkey one? Is that Arctic Silver that has the logo of a monkey? How does this attach then? So we just go we take these two caps off the top. Oh, these two caps off the top here. That allows us to get the screwdriver down. And it literally just screws on, I guess. It's not so simple. What's the orientation of it? Okay, fine. Hang on a minute, where are the, <laughs> where are the screws in the bot? Oh, uh, okay. Those two screws that were in the bag. <laughs> now I know what they're for. Oh, there they are. I was like, the two screws that I was like, ah, oh, well, we need to use them. So, how do we get those actually? Hang on a minute, that's what that black bar is for as well. Oh, uh, I see. You put this down, then you put the black bar over the top, and then you put the two screws to, to screw, screw it to it. Oh, this is going to be bloody annoying. <laughs> I thought the fiddling was over. I was wrong. Oh, no, this is a joke. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, there's no way we're going to get that middle fan in. There's no way to get the <laughs> there's no way to get the middle fan in once you put the case once you put your motherboard in the case. I guess I could put uh, the other fan on the outside. Oh. So that's annoying. Yeah, I'm, I'm plugging in the fan header first. The problem is, is we can't. There's no way for us to get that other. The fan in the middle of this. I 
Um, I could probably take. I could take the graphics card out. Actually, it's fine. I'll just remove the graphics card. <sighs> oh no! Oh. do with another light Let's see if I can get this screw in started at an angle oh come on at least the screwdriver they give you in the in the kit is a magnetized one that's nice Strangely, the magnetised screwdriver that give you makes this more awkward because it means you can't drop it in easily. Ah, oh. I'm going to use my unmagnetised screwdriver. Get this in the hole. Find the other hole. Hole section here. Ah, oh, dear. I have to say, this is the most <laughs> awkward heatsink I've ever used. I need more light. Look, at the end of the day, The, the the nice thing is that anyone building a computer can always feel sure in the fact that they, they're going to be able to build it better than The Verge. So let's use this handy light that I happen to have. Oh, that's nice. That, <laughs> imagine that, guys, uh, a device that illuminates things. Perfect. It's so awkward to actually get it on the hole. Nope. Oh, no, my other screwdriver is magnetised as well. The one time I don't want a magnetised screwdriver, they're both magnetised. There we go. Right, that's one. Oh, dear. <laughs> the other side's even more awkward. Oh, but it's lined up. That's great. Should just be a case of... Dropping it in. Bloody hard to see. Because everything's black in this case. <laughs> God damn. Having a nice case. Oh, that's better. The reason why this uh, fan is is quiet is because you can't hear it over the swearing whilst installing it. Pretty clever, clever design there. Right. Unlock. Yes.
Nice, got them both, sorted. Don't know how much you guys can see, but... <clears throat> Hello! Do you know what? A, a screwdriver with like LED lights in the top of it would be handy. So you want it tight, but you don't want to like over tighten these things. It's always good to go uh, from side to side. That'll probably do. It's on pretty tight. Those screwdrivers do exist. <laughs> I might have to get some. Yeah, well, that's on. Now, I'm going to have to take the graphics card out. Yeah, that's totally fixed in. I'm going to unscrew the graphics card, and I sh hopefully that will allow me to slide the uh, the other fan into the side of it. Annoyingly, my, my cable work is so good on this, so tidy, this might actually be quite difficult to do. Although, saying that, they should be exposed just the right amount. So, should be okay. This is the worst thing about having a nice cable tidy computer case. Computer's not going to boot after this, is it? That's true. <laughs> Torch in the mouth technique. That's how you know someone's a pro. And they can direct it using the tongue. So this is the other thing. Uh, graphics cards uh, have, like, on, on the uh, PCI Express slot and AGP slots, they have, like, the thing at the back of them to stop the card from getting loose. The only problem is, <laughs> with modern graphics cards with like the heat sinks on them, it's not impossible to use the clip. It's like it's, it's designed for a thumb, but you can't ever get to it. <laughs> it's, just, it's like, yeah, that design probably could do with being changed since we have graphics cards that are 4,000 foot long. Ah, I need longer, a longer screwdriver. Can't get to it. There we go. The thing is, if you use a screwdriver to move that clip down, if you slip off it and you poke the motherboard, that's a good way to break your motherboard. So it's like, just don't have it. Like, it's not going to be loose. If you clip your, if you clip your graphics card, and you screw it down, it's not going to fall out. Exactly, exactly, Paul Keeble. That's what I'm saying. It's like. Why did they not think of these things? <laughs> so they go do all this stuff with motherboards. Does no one actually... Can't they employ, like, an idiot like me to go, you know what, this is a good idea. I'm an idiot. Listen to me. So which way round do we have this pointing? I think we have it pointing the same way as the one on the outside. Normally with fans... This is the direction it, it'll blow this way, like the whatever side is the printed one, that it blows, it sucks air through it, if that makes sense. So if you mount it this way, it will blow air that way. Mount it this way, it will blow air that way. 
So I want to have the air. I don't want to be pushing. I don't want to be pushing the air into this one side of it. So I need to have the air blowing all the way through it. So I'm going to put it facing through here. So I guess this is. It. I th I think that's. I assume that's how it's intended to be used because it would make sense. Yeah, it gets through there and then this pushes it through the other one as well. Um, that makes sense to me. Could be totally wrong. <laughs> oh, actually, we need to put the clips on it. How do these clips work? They go on the inside. And then they clip around the outside. Okay. Let's see how that goes. Have to feed this through. Exactly, having the fans blow into each other is a stupid idea. Oh, there we go. So now I just need the clips. Uh, which way around do these go? This makes sense. By the way, anyone watching this that hasn't built PC stuff, this is not necessarily as convoluted as what you would need to use. This cooler is kind of just a bit convoluted. Most coolers are not this awkward. Hang on, that's too big. We've got different size clips here. Got large clips and small clips. No, yes, that would explain why that was too big. One of the clips is for if you want to clip it on the other side. I guess you can choose your configuration. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Should just clip over that. Perfect. And then the other side, <laughs> which is going to be three times as hard. And I should have put this other thing on uh, look if the verge had done this they would have already have like put super glue on the heat sink the thing is when it's your own computer you like take three times as much care or I do or well if I was building it for someone else I'd take a lot of care as well but if I was doing it in an office <laughs> this is the thing if when you're working, well, when I worked doing IT stuff, you like you don't have any time, so you're just like building stuff as quickly as possible in a good enough way. You don't really care. You slap it together, and it works. <laughs> and then you go and you build like sixty computers. But when I'm doing stuff for myself, I'm like, oh, I'll take my time, read the instructions, make sure it's all okay. Treat it like an aeroplane. Cement it in. Yeah, well, that's the other thing. The very first time you, you, you build things, it always takes 10 times as long. I should have done this. Oh, no. <laughs> the, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I can put this over the cable. There we go. I should have done this side first is what I was going to say. Ah, uh, this is so fiddly. <laughs> this is ridiculous. They, there must be a way for them to have done this which wasn't as fiddly. Fiddly PC. Oh, man. I should have done the fiddly side first. Oh. <laughs> so fiddly. I love fiddly stuff. I don't know about you guys, but really, when it comes to things that are really enjoyable, I think fiddly things are the most fun. You know, stuff where you can't really get your fingers into it properly and 
you have to fiddle with it and it's awkward and it hurts your hands. That's, that's where my enjoyment is with most stuff. There we go. Nice. That wasn't too bad. Now let's put those two clips back on. The top. Oh. Here they are. No pain, no pleasure. I'm not sure I quite like pleasure without any pain, personally. Yeah, I mean, that's what you're paying for with this, is the... Do you know what? It's better fit in the case. <laughs> Just looking at the clearance there. No, I think we're okay. <laughs> I mean, this if it's going to fit in any case, this would be one that it fits in. Put the graphics card back in here. Nice and tidy, though. I mean, this is the nice thing of if you do your cable tidying first time you build your computer nicely, it does mean that when you change stuff over, you end up with less dust in it, and it does make things easier to do. And once you've got your cables nicely done, they tend to kind of want to go back to where you last put them, which is... Quite satisfying. That's not that needs to go in first. Okay. Get it in there. I'm excited to see if this actually boots up. <laughs> I'm pessimistic. I don't think it will. But that's you know, it's better to be pessimistic than optimistic. That way when it bursts into flames and you kill half the neighbourhood. You kind of expected it not to work. Right. That's all in. It's all secured. Super glued on. <laughs> I don't know if we're supposed to use this adapter. I'm going to double check the instructions. Because I've, I've got a second... On the motherboard, I have a uh, CPU optional which I assume the motherboard will handle as an additional CPU fan. But I don't know if that's intended to be used like that, so I'm just going to double check that. Well, it doesn't say anything about that in here. I'll assume it does. This adapter here looks like it uh, means that you can plug both of these uh, both the fans into one and then both fans will be duplicated uh, the motherboards uh, uh, is a gigabit Aorus Elite 5 is it 570? can't remember it's a, it's a nice motherboard right so Testicles crossed. <laughs> this all works. Let's uh, put the uh, put the glass back on. Uh, I'm just going to go all in. X570. That's right. Let's put the back and the front on. This this case is a really really nice case. It was a little bit of a pain to cable tidy, but it's got a lot of space in it. It's the nicest case I've ever owned. It wasn't cheap though, so I guess you get what you pay for. It's nice how it has a glass uh, panel. Yeah, it definitely having tempered glass instead of uh, perspex definitely makes it look nicer. Hang on a minute, am I putting this in <laughs> the right way around? Will it blend? I hope not. Put the wrong. Glass back on, confident. I've got all the confidence here. I mean, everything works for me first time. 
So. If you're buying one of these guys, feel free to use my Amazon affiliate link underneath in the video description there. This is the wrong screw for the back one. What am I doing, eh? And the cable. This is the cable exposed here. Look at that. <laughs> Maybe not the best. I mean, we kind of done okay with the cables on the back. Could probably be better. Get rid of that dust. Me. Not too much dust build up. It's interesting that the dust on this case is built up on this front because these fans are blowing in. So it's collected dust on the sides, which is, you think, oh, that's not good, but it's collecting the dust and there wasn't any dust in the case and the dust on the side just, just brushes off so it's actually pretty good so which way around does this go like this i think just uh, box in that's really nice it's got a button up here that you just poop to undo it but this can slide off by itself quite easily I landly make really nice cases. Right. <laughs> Everything's heavy. Just a little last look of that before we put it in its alcove. Don't know if that is clear. It's all reflected. Hang on. No. I mean, if I turned it on, that would be clear. Oh, I don't know. Don't know the best place to put the camera. But yeah, it don't, don't look too bad. It's, uh, oh, just got crap all over the screen there. So it's all right actually. Oh, it does stand out a bit. It doesn't. It doesn't really. The design of it, the Be Quiet logo, is a bit rubbish, and uh, it does stick out. Like aesthetically, it's not the most pleasing of things. Uh, but it's supposed to be one of the coolest, uh, one of the, one of the most efficient and quietest coolers. So uh, there's not a water cool. So uh, we'll see. We shall see. Proof is in the pudding. Proof is in the baked potato. Right, let's get this uh, plugged in. Happy days. Whoop, <laughs> there goes my phone. Put this down there. Hope you guys are all okay. Hello, Nick1. Who sent me a message? Okay. What's going on here? Oh, just getting attacked with messages here. Click the like button, guys, if you enjoy watching the world's slowest PC builder. Okay. Also, we are on Instagram. If you'd like to follow us on Instagram. I want to see Aussie Man reviews when it came of Muscles videos. Thank you. Uh it does it come this case comes with RGB lighting, but um 
I don't really, I can't see it because as you can see here, it basically it goes into this uh, alcove. So Kallax shelf, so my, this is my stream PC and then the uh, gaming PC goes underneath it and it kind of it separates them out nicely so they don't, the heat of one doesn't get to the other. And it's in the middle of my room so it can access my desk reaches my desk and my uh, sim rig which is nice get all these cables out of the way yeah uh, with the clax units if you take out you can take out one of the uh, shelves and it's enough room for a pc which is quite handy if you if you happen to have one of these ikea ikea clax all the way guys i'm going to Use my light down here. Plug everything in. And then unplug everything because it doesn't boot up. <laughs> Hello, True Brit. Can I make a klaxon noise? Why would I do that? Oh, we need to push this on more. There it is. Oh, okay. Whoop, <laughs> timber. There we go. Couldn't actually see the. Uh... Get this all plugged in. I have way too many USB devices here. Ah, oh, I've forgotten which is my. <laughs> I've got one. Uh, one of my cables goes from my PC to the capture card. Ah oh dear, I've, I unplugged all my all my uh, monitor cables, and I can't remember what order they go in. And it's kind of important because some are Display Port, and one goes to my capture PC, and <laughs> so we have to get it all correct. This is annoying. Oh, we, might, we might have got it. Fingers crossed that's the right one. Power cable. What am I missing? There's a lot of USB cables down here that aren't plugged in. <laughs> oh. Arooga! Uh, this looks like a bit of a sort of It's all right, I just have a lot of cables. And my cables aren't tidy back here. Mostly because there's no point. I'm I'm always unplugging stuff. So it's kind of like a I mean I guess it could be nice to tidy them up, but they're always gonna get messed up. Oh, I've got another HDMI cable, I don't know what this one's for. <laughs> oh hang on. This is the vital one. Whoops. Or is it? Out. Is this the vital one or not? No. This is the non-vital one. I have like a HDMI splitter on my desk. For separate stuff. Okay, I've got another HDMI cable here. Well, when I turn it on, we'll find out. <laughs> so this is the Oculus, this is an Oculus cable. Yes, it is, I don't need that right now. Turn that on. We'll see if it boots up, fingers crossed. Whew. Let's see if it boots up. 
see which monitor it goes on out of the four that we've got. <laughs> Could be any monitor. Let's play Monitor Wang. Uh, here we go. Will it boot, guys? Will it boot? Car boot sale. I can smell the smoke from here. Okay. Let's uh, push the on button. Dun, 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 dun. Should we have a countdown here? Can we have a countdown in chat for this uh, epic moment, please? I don't know what this song is. It's just random notes coming out of my mouth. Five, six, seven, six, six, three, go. Oh, it's a second BIOS. Ah, <laughs> oh, no. Third, third time. It's doing the multi... Uh... We'll see if one screen turns on. This is where we find out. Oh! Ah. Uh, ah! Uh. We have a screen. That's promising. We might be okay. Ta da! Windows is booted. Great. So, let's just. Uh... Let's see what happens here. I had my keyboard from you guys. Ah, failure. <laughs> there you go. I was like a, a grandma typing in the bank password. Right, let's turn this one on. TCL power. Password is T. You know that. Come on. Uh, okay, that's worked. Why has my other monitor not come on, though? Oh, oh, actually, that's a good point. Why has that not come on? The other screen should have come on. Let's have a look at CPU-Z and see what that's saying. Oh, my ma it feels so much faster already. All right, there we go. Ryzen 3 900X 12-core processor. It's all, it's all there. It's booted up, no problem. Windows doesn't think it's uh, the wrong version, which is always nice. Uh, I might have plugged the wrong HDMI port in. <laughs> so let's just uh, swap that over. Let's check CPU-Z. CPU-Z is really good, by the way, guys. If you, uh, It's useful to have on a computer. If you don't know about it, it tells you the memory, motherboard, everything. Burn test. Well, burn test will be a game. Core speed, 4.2 megahertz. 12 cores, guys. <laughs> it's like it's like we've got a supercomputer. It's pretty mental having a 12-core processor. You know. Yeah, AMD, uh, the new chips definitely prefer faster RAM. From uh, That's what I've heard as well. 
I don't have fast ram though, because I'm a failure. I'm a ram failure. I'm a ram letdown. <laughs> Spam the ram. Right. Did I plug the wrong HDMI cable in? Quite possibly. Let's check this top one. This is the nice thing of having multiple computers for streaming. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. <laughs> yeah, this might have been causing the issues I was having with my other monitor. Well, actually, no, it won't. But let's plug this directly in. <sighs> now I've got to unplug the correct one, which I don't know which one the correct one is. It must be this one. Ah, uh, oh, yes, is that the right one? About to find out. Da -da. The screen should turn on and we're good. Da, there we go. Perfect. Sorted. Let's check the refresh rate. <laughs> now, now I can play Minesweeper. It's definitely tea break time. Oh, that was good. How long have we been streaming for? Oh, one hour, 37 minutes. That's not too bad, actually. Considering how fiddly that... Uh... Heatsink was. You want your money back. You didn't spend any money. <laughs> there we go. Why is that doing that? Oh, dear. Eighty four hertz, okay, so that that's running at eighty four hertz, which is what it was doing before. Let's see if this runs at a hundred hertz this time. No. <laughs> no, still won't run at a hundred hertz. I'll try I'll try another cable at some point. But eighty four hertz it is for now. What temperatures are we getting? Let's have a look. Forty C at room temperature. Uh, no, we've been through this mad. It it should run at a hundred hertz. It did run at a hundred hertz under some settings. So it's it's uh, either some weird issue or it's the cable. It's the top of my head. It's the best view. <laughs> the ultimate view of the face. Ah. Oh. How was Lisa? Lisa was all right. Yeah, it's a little bit. Lisa's a little bit firm, but maybe it was soft. Maybe Lisa will get a bit softer over time. But I, I did. Uh, I woke up at two a.m. yesterday and then went back to sleep. So it wasn't too bad. But Lisa was all right, yeah. She's good to lie on top of. Right. What do I do now? 
ARPNET, SpaceNet. Look, uh, Flexer, we've been through this. Whatever you're going to say, we already know. So, uh, no sound? What do you mean, no sound? No, I think that's you. I've got sound. That's, that's you. I can even hear it on my phone. Do you want to hear Inception? Sound Inception here. Echo. I can even hear it on my phone. Do you Echo. Want to hear Inception. Echo. Sound Inception here. Echo. I can even hear it on my phone. Do you Echo. Want to hear Inception. Echo. Sound Inception here. Echo. I can even hear it on my phone. Do you Echo. Want to hear Inception. Echo. Sound Inception here. <laughs> it's going to start squeaking very soon. When time becomes a loop. Bit of left field reference there for you guys. Right. Uh, I'm exhausted, but we need to try We need to test it out. So, um, I might, I think I might get a cup of tea then we can maybe jump into some eye racing or something to see what it runs like. Oh, I've made a mess. <laughs> Tidied up today. I've already made a mess. Do it, do it. I, that's what I was, earlier today I went through. I, I put I got Project Cars 2, AC, I racing. Just did a quick like practice and racing each of them to see uh, how fast, well, to see what frame rates I got. Where's the box? Oh, there it is. So, I mean, most games are, are, are like 4K, are, are GPU limited rather than CPU limited. But. I still thought it'd be interesting to see how much of a difference it makes. Probably, I would have thought like 5 FPS, maybe 8. Obviously, it depends what you're doing, though. The interesting thing, I didn't test it previous, uh, prior to doing it, but um, stuff like um, X-Plane 11 might be interesting. I did I did try ACC, but I don't... I don't I don't play ACC, so I don't really care how well it runs. <laughs> like, it, I load it up, and I, even whilst I was testing it, I did like a race. I was like, well, it looks nice, but force feedback's atrocious, so couldn't be asked. But I, I know how fast it runs. I, I recorded it because other people might want to know. We've got to put the CPU in the streaming PC, upgrade that as well. But we'll do that another day. Put that in there. I'm going to put the old CPU in this box so I know where it is and it'll keep it nice and safe. What was this? Oh, that was the heat sink, wasn't it? I'll put this in there. <laughs> I could actually put. Oh, no. I don't know. Whatever. I'll put that there for now this here for now don't know why my wallet is there it's not a good place for a wallet box, box can go over here LA Canyons in AI traffic <laughs> I now I expect to be able to have like a million cars anything less is going to be just disappointing Come on. Why is everything so heavy? Right. Sorted. Whew. Absolutely knackered.
Who would have thought changing your sleep pattern four times over the course of a single month would be a bad idea? Who would have thought it? Ridiculous. Look at that. What a beast of a monitor. <sighs> Maybe have a paracetamol. Paracetamol, cup of tea, headache be gone. Sorted. It's clearly made you more productive. Ah. <laughs> uh. Well, we painted a wall this morning. We were on fire. I mean, look at the wall. Look at the wall, guys. No, there's no hole there. Look at that. That was this morning we sorted that out. Makita. Beautiful. Absolute beaut. That was a good morning. Right. Paint the PC. I'm not sure I want to do that. Whoa! <laughs> Pulled the monitor off then. Be at least 7 FPS, do you think? Okay, uh, I'm just going to get a cup of tea. I'll be back in a minute. I might fall asleep, though, whilst I'm gone. <laughs> I'll try not to fall asleep. But back in a second, guys.
I need my teacup for a tea. Can't make a cup of tea without my teacup. What a fail. Lost my passport now. It's not British without a teacup. It smells, it smells of fresh paint in here. Wonder why. Oh, that'll be why I've got a headache. <laughs> the paint drying on the wall. That's why. That's why I've got a weird frontal lobe headache today. Yes, I've been breathing in paint fumes. Probably should have left the window open. Right. Ugh. Hello. 
Hello there, guys. Oh, dear. Oh, absolutely exhausted. Bloody hell. Okay. Look at that. Got some tea cakes here. I also uh, changed the. Uh, you'll notice we reformatted the uh, stream here. Good job, Gavin Muscle. Wow, you've been so busy today. How? How? What is the motive behind this demand? Says. Necessity. Necessity for money. I'm not supplying money for necessities. Can you please make a klaxon sound? You see, I'm a klaxon enthusiast. <laughs> oh, that, uh, I'll make a klaxon sound for you. Hello, Izzy. Thank you, uh, klaxon enthusiast, for that donation. Oh. <laughs> I'm so tired. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. I need a motion rig that can rock me to sleep. Right. What should I test first? I can, I can load up... Um, I'll, load, I'll load up ACC. It was running at like 45 FPS in the rain, so... Let's see if I get a blue screen of death. Oh, bugger me! It's just, it's just uh, I didn't set my screen. We've just loaded it on the wrong monitor. Hello, off. Up. Oh. Exit. Confirm. Could you hear a sound? Oh, you should be able to when this runs. Oh, hang on. Chris Bow. Chris Bow. <laughs> Check out Chris Bell photography. On Instagram. Right. This was running at... Throttle, throttle, oh, throttle. hello. When are we meeting up again? Let's make memes. Still running at the same frame rate. <laughs> exactly the same frame rate. Oh, well. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. It's a little bit faster. Yeah, I think it's mostly GPU this game. All right, probably like five or six FPS.
All right, got that 43. Out. Okay, so let's say 55 in traffic, 43 when the AI is having you crazy. Let's let me load up my video I recorded. No, it's um, toasted tea cake. Let's let me double check what it was running before. Yeah, I mean, Unreal Engine is pretty much uh, GPU dependent. The thing is, the main thing with this processor for me is more for um, just quickly rendering stuff. Uh, videos. Where are we? Do, do, do. What is the motive behind this demand? Necessity. Necessity for money. Oh, hello. I'm not supplying money for necessities. I know what will make the game run faster. This will certainly solve your problems. What you have to do is you have to open your mouth and make a loud klaxon sound that will surely help the game go faster. Thank you, klaxon enthusiast. Right, let's, let's see here. I, I will make a klaxon. Uh, where was the rain I did? You guys can't see this, but... Oh, yeah, it's exactly the same frame rate. <laughs> 64 when parked. Was it 60? It was 60 when parked. 50, 49. Yeah, so... Four, I know, 45, 41, 40. Yeah, it's basically uh, Unreal Engine. ACC runs exactly the same frame rate. So, uh, yeah... Obviously, GPU limited. Which is interesting because the previous processor is the uh, that I was using is the um, three, the the the, uh, the lower end. Uh, I have a twenty eighty Ti. The previous processor was the lower end. Um, Rise, uh, new Ryzen. So what was it? The uh, three six hundred, three four hundred. I can't remember. Right, let's try. Uh, let's try an iRacing race here. I mean, what you're really paying for with the uh, processor, though, is uh, the productivity. Plus, it working all right in games, you know. Let's get some music here. Get a rave going. I can't play that. Tanook, tanook. Truk, truk, and da, da, da. All along, I've been pumping my da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, yeah. Truk, truk, and truk, truk, and da, da, da. What a tune. Right. Erasing. Dut, dut, kum. When are we meeting again? When will I see you again? I don't know. Trick, trick, and trick, trick, and da, da, da. I don't know. Okay. Let's do the uh, next Mazda race, uh, the uh, uh, Skippy race. Join practice here. Well, we can meet up sometime soon. I might be in London soon, actually, anyway. So it might be good to meet up in London. Um, not on the 12th, but around the 12th I might be in London. I'm not sure yet. 
Oh, I've lost my uh, mirror. There it is. Mirror. 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 I'm so tired. I don't know what. What is the motive behind Hello? this Hello. Necessity. Hey, necessity for the money. Horse go. I'm not supplying money for necessities. Hello, it's me again. Hello. Just would like to follow up from our last messages. I have one more. Ah. Uh. Question, go. do you think the klaxon sound will be before or after the top five USB? I could do... Sports video, all USB, ooga booga, thank you again. I could, I could do a klaxon. I could do it tomorrow morning. Remind me on Discord tomorrow and I'll stick it in. I don't know, I'll, I'll add it to my stream, uh, stream deck. I could do sound effects tomorrow. Uh, so remind me on uh, Discord. And guys, we've got a Discord. Someone post a Discord link in chat so people can join it. But, uh, yeah, remind me now, because I, I haven't got any sound effects on my thing, so I can get a collection for you. We can have a whole collection collection. I'll stick it in. Good nod. Rich Bolton. I just got my CSL Elite set up, bought it through the link. Are oh, you idiot? Why would you buy something through my affiliate link? All you've gone and done is give me money. All you've gone and done is encourage this buffoon. <laughs> Thank you, man. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Is it? Did you get the PS4 CSL Elite? It's a good bit of kit. I lubricated my shafts today as well. Mr. Bolton, if your shafts are sticking, I highly recommend getting some uh, silicone grease. For most of the stuff we do, eight, what? Eight, 700K, nine, 600K. Oh yeah. For gaming, it, it's mostly graphics cards anyway. The, 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 the reason to just get the AMD chips is, is purely It's purely for the uh, Um, like rendering and what have you, you know, that kind of stuff. Okay. Extension Boogaloo. My shaft are always lubricated. That's nice to know. It's important. Uh, what frame rates we're getting here? Exactly the same as before. <laughs> oh, man, I'm so glad I spent £500 on a new CPU. It better render videos instantaneously. I do need to increase my RAM speeds. Ramsey Bolton speeds. Oh, actually, this might be running... Oh, no, it's about the same. Well, I'll just overclock the RAM I've got. Cold ties. Just warming them up with a bit of a drift there. Ah! <laughs> I need to get that stick on my headset better. Just put it here. Perfect mic placement. Ramsey bolt on. I was surprised how good that uh, lower end uh, AMD chip is. So I wouldn't be surprised if if you've got a good GPU that basically that the the lower end new Ryzen is perfectly fine for gaming. 
it doesn't seem like the chip was bottlenecking, bottlenecking the graphics card at all. Seventy two is fine, but normally it's normally uh, you want to have processors running under eighty five, but a lot of the new ones seem to be happy running at ninety or so. so uh, the, it, it shouldn't affect uh, its lifetime running at and anything under ninety should should be potentially livable by the uh, silicone. Like it shouldn't be a problem. But generally, 70, uh, historically, 70, around about 70 was always like a good top end to aim for. What will be interesting is putting the, uh, the AMD CPU I just took out my system into my um, streaming PC. And uh, seeing if that can encode off the CPU at a higher, uh, faster, it should do. Rather than using NVEC, which should be interesting. Yeah, you, it should. Um, I mean, the main thing as well is if I was doing other tasks. So, yeah, like wh whatever you're doing in the background whilst you're playing games, or if I'm streaming off a single PC. So I might do some streaming off a single PC. I'm still using an AMD Athlon processor. Is the, uh, what do you guys think of the uh, view here and everything? Do you like the new layout? Is it acceptable? I could get a hot model. Oh, hello. Is that working? No, it's not working. Oh, hello. <laughs> Layout equals guilty. Not guilty. Two votes for not guilty. I can add some USB ports. Yeah, I, mean, I was thinking in the top corner I might put some sponsored stuff. I'm not really, I'm not sponsored by anyone at the moment. I could sell some sponsored space. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not I'm not got any sponsors at the moment. Uh, well, I'm using people's equipment, <laughs> but I'm not like I'm not I'm not signed any sponsorship stuff if that makes any sense. List your small business. How much? How much should I sell a small the sponsor spot for? What price do we put on it? Three million dollars. One billion pounds. <laughs> Fourteen trillion Nigerian rupees. Oh, that's one pound fifty. Uh, oh, I'm probably going to do uh, another sponsorship run with Mod Mike soon. They sponsored nine videos previously, 
And uh, I think they're going to sponsor another six or something, which is nice. I, I like doing stuff in Mod Mike because I like them. So, uh, yeah. Probably do that. Uh, Mod Mike are really nice as a company as well. They're super chill. <laughs> they, didn't even, they didn't even uh, ask for anything to be signed or anything. They're just really down to earth. Shell. Also, it's cool because I asked them. I, I contacted them initially. <laughs> Which is always nice. Woo! It's not the line. I was getting 190 FPS there with the other processor. <laughs> so, I definitely think it's a GPU... With the 2080 Ti, it's obviously the GPU that dictates performance. Oh, no. Yeah, that's the downside. I have to make videos to put the sponsor message on rather than just doing live streams. Hard life. Maybe I can convince Simlabs to do some sponsor stuff with us as well. That'd be cool. I mean, I'm, I am using the Simrig. Maybe I'll just put a Simrag... Sim, Simrag? <laughs> we can have a Simlabs... Sim... There! Simlab logo can go on there by default because they, they've... Uh, this rig's awesome. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll, just pro we'll just promote it. Because <laughs> it's amazing. I think it's a 3600 I had in before. And it seemed to work perfectly fine. I might try uh, uh, overclocking my RAM. I'll probably do that tomorrow. I'm, I'm an idiot and I put 2000 Hertz RAM in my PC. But I think we can get it to 2200. Should be able to. I wasn't thinking when I bought the RAM. I, I totally forgot. <laughs> so. That's probably costing me about 10 FPS. <laughs> 3,600. I don't know. Maybe it's 300. Maybe it's 300. Not 2,200. No. Uh, yeah. 300 RAM instead of 3200. I think that's what I got. That's what I mean. I don't know. In my mind, I'm still in the 2000s when it comes to computer components. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get eBay the RAM and just replace it for the correct ones. <laughs> you, the uh, X version of the AMD chips is kind of pointless. You don't really get any additional performance from them. Uh, I don't know if we're doing the AC tonight. I'm I'm pretty tired to be honest. <laughs> I'm 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 absolutely exhausted. Yeah, I do want to do more race room since they've done another update. Uh, what, Lisa? Lisa's all right. It's too early to say. Is it, it, it didn't... I don't know if it's worth it. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's worth the £500, so we'll see. But it, it was comfortable. I slept okay last night. I woke up, but I went back to sleep. We'll see. If, I, if I'm not totally happy with that, I'll just return it. And then we could sleep. Then we could sleep with Emma. <laughs> and then if Emma's not very good, we could sleep with Eve. We could just go through all the all the mattress girls. But yeah, no, it seemed all right, to be honest.
Well, the, th the thing is, I'm, I'm weird with mattresses, uh, like with my back. Because of the way I get back pain, I could have a mattress that's like amazingly comfortable in many ways. And then it just happens to coincidentally trigger my back pain. <laughs> so I'm like, ah. And then I, I've slept on like absolutely awful mattresses. And they've been great. But they are bad matches. Like, they're poking me in the back with springs and stuff. But I've slept really well on them because they happen to just work well for my back. And other times, I've slept on a floor on top of clothes while I was camping and had some of the best night's sleep ever. So, it's really random with my back. I think because my spine uh, is messed up or something. I think the 3600 is what I had in my system before. And it worked perfectly fine. So just get that. I'm going to join the uh, ser practice server for the actual race in a minute. No, it was a 3... Three six hundred. It was the new Ryzen chip. I, I'm moving it over to my other computer to the stream PC in a bit. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. But I do the BIOS isn't updated on the other one. Oh, that's the other thing actually. I'll check the performance of this. Uh, I'll record video of uh, uh, with this three nine hundred X before putting the latest BIOS on, and that'll be interesting to see if that affects frame rate at all. I don't think it will particularly but yeah with this uh, Lisa has a hundred day trial so that's enough time. It, I, I I think it takes about a month at least to know if a mattress is good or not. That's the good thing with these new online mattresses is that you genuinely can actually try them out because it, you need to you need to know what it's like to sleep on when it's really hot, what it's like to sleep on when it's really cold, and then what it's like to sleep on after you've exercise and you're physically exhausted or what it's like to do you know what I mean there's totally different levels of comfort depend on so many different variables when it comes to sleeping also like if you put a, if you were to put like a mattress topper on it or not or what type of duvets you, uh, you use or um, if you use those uh, like sheets so that it it protects the mattress from if you accidentally piss the bed or you know like bleed on the bed or something uh those can affect the feel of a mattress as well so, so you know a hundred days i better get some i better get some more women over Memory foam, uh, memory foam mattresses are, are, are the best for romantic time in bed. Way better than spring mattresses. As long as they're not too soft, because then you sink into it. <laughs> but, yeah. I never understood water beds. They don't... That's not going to work very well. Remembers the shape of your ex after she leaves you. <laughs> depends. It depends if your ex is morbidly obese, in which case you roll over and you fall into a canyon. There's a hole in bed.
You have to climb out of the uh, the hole in the morning. Needs climbing gear. I'm just suggesting your your ex is really big. No, I I only get with really skinny kills. I'm really bad. Like I I literally I I'm really picky. I like girls. I like girls uh, to be like chicken wings. <laughs> Nothing on them. <laughs> just a little bit to nibble. That that'll do. <laughs> Spicy chicken wing. That's what you need. I don't want like a full chicken breast. Right, let's uh, try and join this. Let's park in the middle of the track. Uh, Zinger burger. Spicy chicken wrap. Right. Why? Let's withdraw from this and see if we can get in. Oh, we've got some proper trance music going on here. Good times. Oh! If body fat is below 25, what's that? Beggars can't be choosers. Ah, oh, no. Single mums it is. <laughs> I don't want no chubs. I mean, oh, hang on. That's wrong. I don't have a problem with people that are fat. If that's what they want, you know, it's just not, I'm just not into it. I, people can do what they want for the most part. Yeah, I know you can't, but, uh, can now because I put it on the screen oh, good old cup of tea yeah I can I can't I can I can't I think they fixed this crash issue with the uh, setup thing which is nice Chub over the chubby ladies. Chubba chops lollipop. B B W. What's that? Oh, dear. oh hello, Ran Ranky, Ranky. Hello, thank you for subscribing. You can go to Tesco and measure your obesity levels. I'm morbidly obese, almost. I'm on the threshold of unhealthiness. I need to start jogging again. Thank you for subscribing, man. Thank you for clicking the like button, everyone did. Everyone that has. <laughs> everyone did. I've just abbreviated stuff in my head here. Big black willies. Black Willie's premium ice cream. Come to Big Black Willie's today. We got the coldest tyres. Our tyres are so cold. Oh, big beautiful women. Oh, okay. I like small women, not big women. Try VR with loads of cars. Maybe. An oval wreck and a rant. I wonder if my PC is now fast enough to run Microsoft Flight Simulator. <laughs> Ah, well, you can use one core per building. Uh, 
Yorkshire Jimmy doesn't discriminate. If there's enough room in his yard, no one's safe. What I'm saying is, if you're uh, if you're a female and you're in Dick and you're in Dixie Chicken, you better watch out because Yorkshire Jimmy could be there, ready to attack, like Jack the Ripper. Dixie Chicken, the Dixie Chicken Ripper. Go left. I can show you my slip. Tires do not have any grip. A whole new drift. I don't know. Jimmy's shed is actually like the TARDIS from in Doctor Who. He's actually got 40 sim rigs in there. Jimmy Bing, Jimmy Bim, Jimmy Bim, Jimmy Bobbin, Jimmy Bobbin. That's the uh, that's an episode you're not seen yet. Dixie Chicken Ripper. Hello, Jack Harrison. I often ask myself the same question. What am I doing? <laughs> Your dog's going crazy. Oh. person should be able to sit in a rig, all right. Uh, it seems to be running exactly the same as the previous one. <laughs> Strangely. I think the only way you'd really notice... Uh, I mean, maybe, maybe it is like three or four FPS. I need to change it, uh, upgrade my RAM or change my RAM settings. And update the BIOS. Well, the thing is, if I can render videos, it sh I mean, it should literally render videos about three times as fast as the other processors. So that's the the main thing. I plan to have it for a good two or three years so have I let any ladies try my rig uh, uh, no one <laughs> one lady A lady she drove really slowly Uh, yeah, mo games are mostly single threaded. We've got like ten minutes till the race here. Oh, 
idea. Move your house a bit. Nice smoke effect off that car. Uh, Emily Jones is a, a console peasant. <laughs> console gamer. Oh no, Emily Jones plays a lot of iRacing. As long as it's a new tyre model. I've been trying to get it so we can do a race with them. Be good. But they're in uh, crazy Australia time zone. So maybe if I got up really early, we can get a skippy race or something. really my type to be honest but uh good as a friend i think uh, emery would be good to uh, go out drinking with or just hanging out with be a good laugh same with the uh, sim racing girl <laughs> it's like just be, you know, she's nice to hang around with. She's, uh, good as a friend, but not the type of person that I would uh, normally go for relationship-wise. <laughs> Contrasted personalities between Emery and uh, Sim Racing Girl. <laughs> I'd have to, I have to get something in between. Single forever. I, I, you know, it's all right. Married to the sim rig. Oh, he's gone. Goodbye. Red Dead with a deep voice. Emery's not got a deep voice. Hello. Billy Strange has a deep voice. Every time Billy Strange takes a girl out for dinner, he's like, can we have a bottle of wine between us? And the waiter comes out. Here you go, sir. Thank you. I will proceed to drink my wine with my beautiful girl that I'm dating. And uh, he starts talking to her. They pick up the glass and it explodes from his deep voice. Every time. Oh, Billy. I sound exactly like one of Jimmy Broadbent's girlfriends. Because, I, because that's how women sound. Billy. You've... Broke the wine bottle again! Oh, I can't stay with you! Your deep voice! Oh, so masculine and attractive at first appearances! It's impossible to function because all our windows are broken! All the wine bottles are broken! And I've defecated because the base is loosened by sphincter! <laughs> the relationship's over, Billy! I can't cope with the deep voice! Oh no, not again. True story. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't you hate it when your voice is so deep that you loosen the sphincter of your girlfriend? I hate it when that happens. Here to destroy your dreams, but there are no women in sim racing. 
tried to call a cab, but her phone shattered. Billy's voice is so deep that satellites break in orbit. That'll do. Ah, uh, does that affect our safety rating? Oh well, it was worth it. <sighs> Billy's changed. <laughs> Andrew. Okay, that was practice, practice. We're done. Oh, did I need a setup for this? We did, we came third last race, so maybe I just need to drive better. She's doing, she's got to do all the running. Matt lost loads of weight last year. I need to uh, get fit. I think, uh, I think uh, Alonso's been uh, training Matt up. Alonso's using Matt to like, uh, to learn how to sim race. But Alonso got confused in his promoting grid. He got mistaken. He thought it was a simulator. He was like, oh, I'll promote this because I'm a Formula One. I'm a really good Formula One driver. So I'll promote this game. It makes perfect sense. Not that Grid's bad. Grid's actually really good. It's just not really a simulator. There are no setups for the Skippy. Okay. Yeah, he's obviously just there for marketing. They, you know, which is fine. As long as they're out about it. Random call sign's daughter does the driving. But she, the problem is she turns the wrong way to go around corners because she thinks she's always drifting. Puts TD on 100. David Gomez. If your girlfriend is your girlfriend a babe? If you're a good look, if you're like, you don't even have to be that good looking. If you're a relatively slim girl. And you can talk to a chat room, like, to a, to a very, very basic level. <laughs> and you can play games to, like, a very, very basic level. Then, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Path to success. She's a babe. Babe, you better not put her online because uh, Jimmy might try and pick her up at Dixie Chicken. So be careful. No one's safe. Jimmy's programming a virtual Dixie Chicken in VR chat to trap more people.
Slidey wheels. Slidey wheels. Hello, guten tag. Tobias N. Sasser. Short-term memory man, he can't remember the song. Short-term memory man, he tries to remember what he can. What's the point? There is no point. The point is, I can just smell paint. <laughs> and I have a strange headache at the front of my head. As if I've been sniffing glue. Oh, hello, Samiri Piri. 46-year-old female, and I like gaming, proceeds to play Peggle Deluxe. <laughs> Nothing wrong with Peggle, though. I wish they'd bring out a new one. Why did they not bring out more Peggles? Because it's a bloody good game. I could just keep playing it. I'm, a, uh, I'm an 82-year-old man. Swipe left. <laughs> I actually don't identify as a man these days. I, I identify as a uh, high-performance servo motor without a steering wheel attached. Some people say that's oddly specific, but that's, you know, that's what it says on my passport. Yeah, Space Invaders is actually pretty good. I was um, when I was at the Living uh, Computer Museum in Seattle. They had they've got a really cool room set up with like uh, old arcade machines and uh, space. They had Space Invaders, Space War. Um, Tempest was on there as well, which is actually it's Tempest is actually really good. It, like surprisingly good. Ah. Uh, there you go. It's a sad story. Says you're a travel risk in your passport. And they had... Uh, I don't think they had Galaxian. Can't remember. No, they didn't have Galaxian. They had the one with the, the worm thing that comes down. I missed the breakpoint.com. Uh, I can't see my brake touch from here. I, 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 I'll have a look in a second. Try and push it up the hill here. After WoW, it's been down. WoW is a terrible game. What? Oh, God. People that play WoW just really upset me. Just, WoW is so awful. Everybody I know that plays WoW is brain damaged. I've had some really good friends that play WoW. I just, I just wonder what's going on. It was such a bad game. <laughs> so bad. Awful. No collision detection. All the weapons are distance and timing based. Everything is based around grinding menial tasks. All the missions are go here, walk to this NPC. NPC tells you some stupid, boring, arbitrary task to do. Then it, the task is always go to another location, click on some things in that location, and then after clicking on them 400 times, you then get a drop you then take back. That's that's like 90% of the tasks. 
Occasionally there's an escort mission, but then they're bugged out. Or you get ganked halfway through it. Ah, oh, bloody hell. What an awful game. Absolutely terrible. None of the weapons satisfying to use in it. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. The only, only good thing about WoW was the fact it was online and it's, it's like a 3D chat room and the, uh, at the time, the, the, uh, the 3D model of the world wasn't too bad to like, as a, as a sort of virtual world to look at, fair enough. But as a game, terrible. WoW's worse than Brexit easily, yeah. Jesus, what, what an awful piece of software. Think how much time people have wasted on that. Absolute <laughs> atrocious software. No force feedback in WoW. Oh dear. Look, so I'm not hating on MMOs. Uh, what was that? What was the uh, Sony game where you you had items and if someone killed you, they could take your items and you couldn't ever get them back and there was no real rules to it. Um, not Eve Online. The, not the space one. I forgot what it's called. It was like a... Oh, what was it called? And they've also... Wow, gradually, they made it more and more casual. They made it more and more, like, less free and just pure grind. Who started me on Wow? No, I'm talking, like, 2001 here. Ultima Online, yeah, before they ruined it. Oh, Christ, I'm not car number one, am I? Am I car number one? Oh, I'm dead. Game over. I often play iRacing. Here we are at a beautiful, beautiful Suzuka circuit located in the hills of Japan. We have multiple drivers on the grid, many of which have never driven this car before, and many of which are likely to lose a wheel by the end of the race. Today's race is brought to you by Bridgestone, Potenza, Rao, Tosuka, Shawa, and of course the Putty Grand Prix. Make sure you use the brake pedal, make sure you use the draft, have a good time, have fun, and shout at each other on the microphone when the car crashes into you and it was entirely their fault and not your fault at all. This race is, of course, being live-streamed on the Gamer Muscle YouTube channel. Wow, what a channel. Oh, so good. Good luck in the race, guys. Have fun. Off we go. Right. James, you're one happy guy. This bloke has just made my day. Ah, uh, look, these are happy British guys. We were on British time zone. Sure did. I want him in every race. Here we go. I'm under pressure now. I'm going to be on YouTube. <laughs> Here we go. Green, green, green. And it's go, go, go. Oh, dear. Mr. Cold Tyres. Is that the real gamer muscle? James, what? Is that you? Watch it, watch it. Dude, I'm your biggest fan. Absolute carnage there. Surprise, we got through that. Woo! Got through that with the paint fumes. Listen, I did listen to my fan. I think he's being sarcastic. Oh, there's another car gone. Washing machines live longer with car gone. I've got a fan. That's nice. I can use it to call my new processor. Sorry for the scare there, Zach. Thanks, mate. I don't talk during the race. Thanks, Steve Size. You pretentious prick. 
I don't like talking during the race because uh, I feel people are concentrating. Also, my sarcasm detection alarm. Is he Don PCR? I know you guys are watching. <laughs> Special shout out to uh, Stuart. Uh, there. there you go. There you go. You know who it is. James, we love you, bro. You're the best. Ah. Uh, that's nice. Thank you. It's me, Nutella from your stream. Ah, hello. Now it makes sense. Let's try not to oversaturate the radio for these guys up front. You didn't get a shout out. I don't. I don't always talk. I talk at the start. I don't talk whilst we're racing. Ah, we're in fifth place, guys. Whoa! Use those revs. <laughs> My life is a cringe. That's why I've got no fringe. Come on. Got to stay with the front group here. What's up with the cinematic bars? Because this is uh, blockbuster, pure action. It's because I'm using a super wide monitor. Well, yeah, Jimmy's like my shed boyfriend. Paul Smith's my Fred Dibner boyfriend. I have a special romantic attraction to YouTubers. I feel like we've been through the same war. It's like Christmas on the uh, front line in World War One when I see another YouTuber. Is this Lando's channel? No, this is Nando's channel. Is so loose through there. Bring it on, guys. Come on. Keep digging. Keep digging. Ram it through the gears. Mow the lawn. We're good here for the draft. Kind of don't want to pass this guy yet because we want to use his draft to get to that group of cars in front but hello wasted white boy Here we go. We're actually in a good position to win this. Ch 
Just try and line this up. Come on. Perfect. Absolutely perfect here. And he's catching that car. This should work spot on. Car behind is just enough gap. As we should get, we should be on for the pass on the inside just after the left hander, which is uh, exactly what I wanted. There we go. Not quite. I, I lifted too much there. Looks like we're going to have to do it down the straight. I didn't carry enough speed through that. That's uh, flat out through there. Okay. Watch out for the accident here. Really expecting an accident. There, there's one accident. Hey, why did you hit the brake right there? <laughs> I was expecting the yellow car to hit the car in front of me. I wasn't expecting that green car to go, but... Nice and easy. Broken legs for Mr. Breen, Mr. Breen car, Mr. Green car. It felt like you let off really early, man. Uh, that, if I ran past my zone, I apologize. I'll go look at it. Hello, Steve Size. I don't know. But I'm totally random with uh, when I'm available and not. Kind of just want to stay behind this guy and then draft him. Get the double draft. There's no point in passing him for him to retake me down the straight. This actually should line up great here, but I'm expecting him to suddenly move out of the way. When I go for the pass on him, he's probably going to be going for the pass on the yellow car. So uh, this could be a bit dodged, but let's see how it goes. Ah, oh, not, <laughs> I'm not getting enough speed through there. Okay. Maybe down the straight. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I didn't catch on. Woo! Where's P1? We don't want P1 to escape. Right, here we go. Get ready for accidents. Whoa, why is he slowing down that much? Car behind me is going to be coming into play in a minute. Bro broke a little bit too hard there. Still six laps to go. Well, five and a half laps. We're in a good place to win this. Let's try and get a tight line through here so we can get the pass in. Oh, 
Oh, I don't understand you're into me. What are you doing, dude? <laughs> okay. Now he's hopefully he doesn't miss the break point. Nice. Critical hit. Thank you, Martin. Ah, oh, dear. Oh, Pink Car made a huge mistake there. Okay, let's try and get this as tidy as possible. Take advantage of this. There it is, Pink Car's gone wide. It's a good chance for these cars to hit each other. This Pink Car seems a little bit er erratic. Hey, Robert. Uh, I don't mind this field of view. I, it's not VR. VR's perfect. Field of view. Monitors aren't as good as VR. So it I'm not that precious about field of view when in 2D. <laughs> after, if you, after you get used to VR, you're like, a screen is a screen. I don't really care. I like the extra visibility. I'll compromise field of view for visibility. Right, here we go. Get ready. <laughs> Trigger warning. Do you think this pink car is going to drive into the back of the uh, car in front of him on this corner? All right, let's give him a Christmas present. Too early to be in first place, but... I should be able to pull away from him. I seem to have better pace. So it might actually be worth trying to get the overtake and seeing if we can uh, escape him. But you have to have a 1.2 second lead to avoid the draft. I'm noticing these guys are slow through some of the follow-through corners. They're slow on the tighter corners. The final corner, this corner here. I mean, I messed that up, but... I don't think we'll get enough of a gap. Oh, car behind me getting a bit big in the mirror there. Might have a bit of knitting to do here.
the old Robert Kubica grass overtake. Just want to make sure we're behind him on the final lap. <laughs> Whoa! There goes the keyboard. <laughs> That's not distracting. <laughs> Lands upside down. Changing the brake bias. Robin Kubitz is a legend. He's my Polish brother, that's why. He's one of my favourite Formula One drivers. Okay, that's a new line. <laughs> Oh, that's like the worst way we could take that. This might be interesting coming into the uh, right-hander. Okay. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> What's this car doing? Might have some bent wheels in a minute. Ah, uh, no, no, I do not want to be the jam in the sandwich. I was almost loathed then. Oh, hang on. 1.1 second gap. That worked out well. Bold moves. Gave us some bold times. Now it's hammer time. If we can get 1.3 second lead. I mean, they, they can draft each other to catch back up, but... It's hammer time. Yeah, you don't need the hair for, hair for bold moves. No, there's still not enough of a gap. Three laps to go, though. Kind of want to be in second place on the final lap. Huge error from the pink car. Huge error. Uh, chips is, uh, process seems to be working all right. Pretty much the same as the previous one. Let's try and do this as committed as possible. One point six, yes, come on. We might have pulled this off here. That might be enough wow. gap. Two laps to go. You're in third. 
That might be enough gap, guys. Come on. Boxes lap. Oh, yes, thank you for the pro tip there. One point eight seconds, come on. Just focus on just driving this as clean as possible. Hi, Browse. Engage. Finish in reverse. We've learnt that lesson. Three brain cells are overclocked. Three brain cells running at four gigahertz. Steam coming out of the ears. One point six second gap. That should be one point seven. That should be enough if we can hold it, and we can if we can finish finish this lap with that much lead, we're good. What's this smoke from? Is someone blowing their engine up? One point eight seconds. Come on, that's enough. If we can hold it down the straight, we have to make sure we got one point two seconds uh, at the entry into the uh, into the S's. Because then we're outside the draft. Come on. We've got the gap to do it. If I can keep my pace, we've got enough gap to uh, win. Why is there smoke machine? It's like bloody clouds in front of us. It's not off putting at all. Thomas the Tank Engine's leading the race. Thomas the Tank Engine back marker. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Why, why have we got a steam train in front of us? You guys are going to make a move. Do it now. Now's the time. Immortality is yours. Take it. Oh, bloody hell. Whatever it takes. Why is there a steam train in front of us? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> they give you an inch, take a mile. Oh god, Thomas the Tank Engine is in sight! No! Go away, Thomas! Ah, oh, there it is! <laughs> We've got to pass Thomas the Tank Engine! Ah, oh, okay! We're so we paying IL2 Stomovic here! Oh Christ! There it is! There's Thomas! We passed him safely. That feels well, I'm going to take this nice and easy. That feels better. Whew. Ah, oh, guys, we're going to win. First race back with the new processor. Ryzen 3900X. What is the motive behind this, hey man? Necessity. Necessity for money. Yeah. I'm not supplying money for necessities. Get in there, James. Great result, mate. That's P1. Well controlled race, mate. A good weekend, all. <laughs>
Fuck. Round for us, you've earned this, mate. Man. Beautiful work. Thank you. Chris, I wanted to go for a move so bad, but I couldn't see anything with all the smoke. Out of it. What an incredible race! What an incredible race by that James West. He came from behind. He worked his way to the front and he passed Thomas the Tank Engine to win at Suzuka. What a result there. What a result. Tommy Warner in second. Third place. Nobody knows. Incredible racing there. Incredible action. Skip Barber. Right. His lines are awful. Enjoyed every second of it, mate. I hope your YouTube channel enjoys it as well. <laughs> there we go, guys. Rigged. Let's have a look at the... Uh, Christopher M. Carter. Great racing with you, man. Thank you. It was good fun. James, where will I be able to see this? What's this race? Uh, the, 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 uh, the, best, the best YouTube channel in the world... Wow! Game of Muscle? Wow! Not Muscles of Games. Game of Muscle. So good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you. Si. Si, senor, signore. Uh, do slow. <laughs> Poco, Poco Racecraft. Throttle, throttle, throttle. If the win is not in reverse, it doesn't count. Oh, no. And the worst of Super GT, that was a scintillating race. <laughs> We've upset this. Throttle, We've, upset... Throttle, throttle. We've upset the Spaniards. Right. Thanks for that donation, Tobias. Ah. Oh. Well, that's it. Processor upgrade. That was awesome, man. I've never been three wide that many times where everybody was still respectful. That was Processor upgrade. Uh, PC faster, running at exactly the same speed. I race in race one, completely sleep deprived. <laughs> well, actually, no. Step take over, just tired. Ah, uh, making friends all over the world. That's it. Muscles of games. <laughs> <laughs> Muscles of Games is available. Register it up. £500 well spent. Uh, guys, it's bedtime now. So I can uh, so we can stream tomorrow. We've got some uh, some other stuff to do. We're going to check the frame rates as well. I need to sort the RAM out. But uh, yeah, guys, thanks, uh, thanks for watching uh, this stream. Just a quickie, a quick bicky. I mean, we did a we did a two hour stream. Uh, this morning so what's that five five and a half hours that would do are you real <laughs> i know it's eight o'clock but i need to uh, sort some stuff out as well before i go to bed so and i'm exhausted i'm barely conscious i actually did that race in my sleep it might have looked like i was here but i wasn't so yeah thanks thanks everyone for taking part and clicking the like button and everything yeah lisa's lisa's pretty hot i have to say Got to, get, got to get back on top of Lisa. <sighs> uh, don't forget to... Lisa's my new girlfriend. Uh, don't forget to check the... Uh, uh, follow us on Instagram. Also our Discord. Someone can post a link to that. That'd be good. And, uh, yeah. See, see you guys uh, soon. Goodbye. Hope you enjoyed the, the processor upgrade. Goodbye. Why not streaming on Twitch? Because I'm a YouTuber. Because I like to be abused by, by Google. That's why. Uh, there it is. Today's stream was brought to you by... And made possible by... The following people. The donors. The donor crew. Klaxon enthusiast. Remind me tomorrow to Klaxon it up. Peter Bonington and the super chats came from random call side Tobias and Tobias and Sasa subscriptions Logzar Matt Elliott Rocky 81 what we hang on someone else just subscribed there Matt McCannon thank you for subscribing oh dear that's it stream ruined night night guys click those links click the like button
See you very soon indeed. Goodbye. Goodbye.